Howdy, I'm Johnny Terry. Welcome to the Annie Oakley Show, brought to you by Westerns on the Web, sponsored by Wild West Toys. The Annie Oakley Show aired from 1954 to 1957. There were 81 half-hour black and white episodes, starring Gail Davis as Annie Oakley, Brad Johnson as Deputy Sheriff Lofty Craig, and Jimmy Hawkins as Tag. Get ready for another episode of Annie Oakley, brought to you free by westernsontheweb.com. Bullseye! Annie Oakley hits the entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. And suspense. Before they change that guy. Right, let's get down to Steve and those horses. What's the matter, kid? I thought you'd be so glad to get shed of these numbers that you'd be the first one out of those rags. Come on, Jack, stop wasting time. You want us to get caught? Let him go. Let him go. I'm glad to be rid of him. But we need him. We gotta have the other half of that map. Jack ain't got the map. His uncle has. Old codger named Walt Stone. I know right where to find him. Yeah, the kid'll warn him. Let him. Walt's half the map ain't no good without mine, and he knows it. Besides, Walt's the kind of man I can handle. Real easy. Let's go. Hello, Jack. Howdy, Tag. Hi. I thought the territory provided a new suit of clothes for released convicts. Yeah, they do. But I... But you escapes. Well, I guess that kind of makes a liar out of me. How? I've been arguing with everybody that you didn't kill Dave Harper. I didn't. Then what they throw you in jail for? I suppose you wasn't even in the holdup. Weren't in the holdup, Tag. He knows what I mean. Yeah, I was in the holdup. Uncle Walt would have shot me if I hadn't gone along. I thought it was something like that. Why didn't you tell them that at the trial? I was there. You didn't say nothing like that. Anything like that. He knows what I mean. Well, what was the use? The witnesses were stacked against me. I believe that too, Jack. She'd believe anything. After you finish with that suit, can I have it? What in the world for? You can cut it down for me, and I'll wear it when the kids play Sheriff and Bandits. Oh, Tag Oakley, your uncle is a sheriff for this county, and if he saw you wearing a real convict suit, he'd, well, he'd have a stroke. Oh, he's always saying I'll probably end up wearing one. Tag, <laughs> that's enough. Jack, if you're really innocent in this Harper killing, why didn't you try to clear yourself honorably? Escaping just makes it worse. I couldn't wait that long, Annie. 
If I hadn't joined in this prison break, I, there would have been more murder done. How soon can you get a hold of your uncle? Well, I can't get in touch with him. He's taken a prisoner to Denver. Is Lofty Craig still his deputy? Yes. Lofty's still around. You didn't? No. I'm not married to him. Well, you'd better get Lofty over to my uncle's cabin right away. Well, did your uncle walk kill Dave Harper? I think so. There's one sure way we can find out. If you'll take Craig to my uncle's cabin, he'll be able to get the real killer and also stop the looting of the mission treasure. Mission treasure? <laughs> Jack, there's no such thing. That's just one of those long lost treasure stories, just the same as the lost Dutchman's mine. It is not. There is a mission treasure, and it's in danger. My uncle knows all about it. Well, maybe I'm not such a liar after all. Anyhow, I'm betting on you, Jack. Tag, go get Lofty Craig. How should I know? Oh, what... Tag, go on and find him. Listen, you know where Walt Stone's cabin is, don't you? Mm -hmm. We'll bring him there. And move. All right, all right. I'll go with you to your uncle's cabin, Jack. It's pretty risky. So is the spring cold. I'll get my horse. It's not very pretty. It's the only home I've ever known since my folks died. I know life with your Uncle Walt hasn't been easy, Jack. I'll say it wasn't. You get into that wood box there. There's nothing much in it this time of year except black widow spiders and mice. Well, the black widow spiders, I can stand. There's an old flap of canvas that separates it from the room. You can hear everything. If those mice are in there, you'll hear everything, too. Now, you remember, if I have trouble with Uncle Walt, you get out of here fast. Jackie boy. Come to see his old uncle. <laughs> All dressed up too, ain't you? Come in. Come in. So you busted out, didn't you? Yeah, three of us. Mort Light and Les Cole and me. Yeah, I know Mort and Les. You can have my share of them. Where are my old clothes? Up there in the shelf. Where'd you think I was? I'll fix you up some coffee. Did you have a dust around here? Dust? What fur? Just get dusty again. How come you headed straight down here? Might you bring the law down that way? I had to risk it. Where else could I get clothes? Well, when you get into your clothes and get some grub to eat, you better get on out. You didn't kill anybody getting out of here, did you? No. Nah, didn't even hurt anybody. How'd you get out of prison? A fellow named Steve Raymond brought us some horses. Yeah, I know him. He's no better than the rest. Whose idea was it in the first place? I'll tell you that later, Uncle Walt. What's important now is that you're in danger, big danger. Danger? Well, who from? You mean Mort Lydon and them others? <laughs> no, Mort and me will trade even Stephen. He's after that mission treasure. But he can't get it without my map, and I can't get it without his. So it's a standoff, a Mexican standoff. Now, what's the danger? I'll tell you that when you tell me who fired the shot that killed Dave Harper. Oh, smart, ain't you? Well, since you ain't got a gun, I'll tell you. I shot him. Yes, Jackie boy, I shot him. Sometimes you don't want to kill a man, but you just downright have to. That's the way it was that day. Why'd you hold up the bank in the first place? You know I didn't want any part of it. I know you didn't, but we had to have money to finance that mission treasure job. I made you go along so we'd have enough men. And when Dave Harper started toward that door for help, I downed him. One more thing. Just what is the mission treasure? Well, it's a pretty thing. Just to think about it. Worth a million. Maybe more. Wait till I fix that consarn stove. Thor's trying to hook me out. Yeah, I'll fix it. 
When the Spaniards started building missions in California, they sent a hundred mule pack team down from Mexico City. Gold candlesticks, jeweled altar vessels, stuff like that. Well, they got to Mission Guadalupe. That's where Las Palmas is, when the Apaches jumped them up. Well, they unset the stones, melted down the gold, and buried the whole shooting match. Now, there's only one map showing where that stuff is, and I got half of it. How'd you get it? Dead man gave it to me. Dead man? Oh, of course, he wasn't dead when he gave it to me, but he's pretty dead now. Now, watch this danger I'm in. Hide me somewhere. The wood box. Just family, just family. Jackie boy here was just trying to do his old uncle a good turn. No guns needed. No guns needed at all. What did I tell you? I ought to pistol whip you to jelly for slugging me. Take it easy. Go ahead, Steve. Little Beaton doing good. Teach him who his friends are. Wait a minute. Take it easy. I told you the boy is just trying to do me a favor. I'll let the kid alone. That's better. That's better. I'll hot up the coffee for you. No time, Walt. This trip we aim to get that mission treasure. Let's talk business. I always said you was a man after my own heart, Mort. Got your map? I got it. I rode right to and dug it up. As soon as I got a horse under me. Where's yours? I don't get it. Here it is. Easy now. Easy. There. Right where it's torn. That's where the treasure is. Hmm. Uh, what does it say, Mort? This highfalutin Spanish ain't easy for a man used to border lingo. It's this statue, all right, in St. Francis. And a lot of measurements and figures. I got it. Treasure's under the statue of St. Francis. There, somebody. Uncle Wolf. There's somebody in the wood box. Nobody here? Yeah. Come on. Franco walk. He's dead, no get. Get on your horse.
Come with us, Jack. the idea of playing dead. You could have killed us. And that's a hard way to fall for a girl. I appreciate that, but if I hadn't played dead, I might have been. Thanks, anyhow. Tilaf, you know you're the prettiest thing I've seen all day. Oh, no, Annie. <laughs> Tell him some more, Annie. He eats the stuff up. Oh, quiet, boy. Hey, you heard about the escaped convicts. Uh-huh. Well, that was them. Well, you can take it back to town and I'll trail them. Oh, no, you'll have to wait for a while on that, Lofty. I've got a dead man I want you to meet. Dead man? Who? Walt Stone, up in his cabin. Why don't you guys let me go? I can't do you any good. That's the truth if I ever heard it. Jack, who was in that wood box? I don't know. It was a girl. We know that much. Yeah. Any chance it might have been Annie Oakley? What makes you think that? Well, she lives somewhere in this part of the country. You told us yourself you used to go to school with her. She wouldn't have anything to do with me. She's law and order. Yeah. You're law and order, too, you little sidewinder. You'd turn us in sooner as spit if you thought you could get away with it. But you can't. Don't forget, you're a con, too. You were doing time for murder. Look, I didn't kill Dave Harper. My uncle did. Yeah? Yeah, but try and prove it. Who's going to believe an escaped convict when he tries to pin a killing on a dead man? You can't blame me for trying to get away from a convict's life. You'd all like to. Sure we would, kid. Sometimes a man just can't get her done. What do you want me to do? Nothing. I don't want you to do a thing. I just want to make sure you don't give us any more trouble. There's only one way to make sure. Pull her down to a walk, Mort. I think this kid can be trusted. What are you talking about? He ran out on us, didn't he? Sure, sure. But maybe you ran out on somebody sometime. Give him a break. What do you say, Steve? It's okay with me. If he crosses me up, I'll shoot him as quick as you will. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon you would at that. Now, about that wood box, was it Annie Oakley? What difference does it make? All the difference in the world. Whoever was in that box knows we killed Walt Stone. That's a murder rap for all of us. If it was Annie Oakley, it's twice as bad. She's in real close with the law. Well, it's right, kid. You'd better tell him. We could all hang for this. Yeah. Yeah, it was her. She caught up with me. To keep her from taking me in, I told her I'd lead her to you fellas. I knew she couldn't get away with it. Why didn't you shoot her? Without a gun. He's right, Mort. He didn't have a gun when he left us. Well, he, he could have warned us. You didn't give me a chance. We're too busy with that map. Look, Mort, all I'm trying to do is to protect my interest in that mission treasure. Your interest? You mean you're still counting on that? Why shouldn't I? I can't go the other way. Listen to the... All right. All right, we'll play it like that, but you've got to do something, too. I want Annie Oakley set up for me cold. You willing to go for it? Sure. I'll even tell you where you can find her. Where? My Uncle Walt's cabin. She sent her brother to bring Lofty Craig out there. Well, now it sounds like you're leveling with us. Mount up, boys. Let's go. And hey, Jack, this time there better not be any cross-ups. There won't be. Between Dodge and Mice and listening to Jack's uncle clearing, I was a busy girl. And when the shot was fired, I took out. Good thing you did. A real tomahawk. Looks like it might be Sue. With a head on its shape like that, it's Apache. And Tag, leave things alone. Aww. Lofty, I know Jack was playing it straight with me. I heard his uncle admit killing Dave Harper. And why didn't Jack quit them when they left here? A real Indian drum. Looks like it might be Navajo. With tribal markings on it like this? It's Apache, too. You better study your Indians, boy. And Tag, leave things alone. Uh... Lofty, I'll tell you why I didn't quit them. 
There were probably three six shooters trained right on him. You can think of a million outs for Jack Stone. You know, come to think of it, you were sweet on him in school. Oh, Lofty. I do believe you're jealous. Who, me? Uh, jealous of a convict? See, that's just it. Jack is a convict, but I think unjustly so. That's what I'm trying to straighten out. Aw, oh, kiss him, Annie. That'll shut him up. Jack, Oakley, I'll... Come on and kiss him! I think I will. You better make it a good one. It's gonna be your last. Jack, you and Les know what to do with them. Take them outside. Take it easy, Morton. We don't have to kill them. What's the matter? Are you scared again? No, it ain't that. It's just stupid to pile up a bunch of killings when you don't have to. Sure, we don't have to kill them. Use those. The handcuff them together over that beam. They'll be there a week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that ain't a bad idea, that. Go ahead, Les. Do what the kid says. Come on, get over there. Come on, put oh. your hand over there. Hanging there like that, they can do all the kissing they want. All right, not you. Guess maybe I was all wrong about you. Tag! Take it easy, Annie. Yeah. You were right, Mort. The kid was trying to make a getaway through that wood box. Uh, smart kid. Go get his horse, Steve. He's probably out in the brush. Give him a hand. I bet you were aiming to get out of here and bring a posse right back, wouldn't you? I wasn't going after no posse. I was going to warn them at the mission. I know what you guys are after. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, we want to keep you happy, kid. You want to go to the mission, you can go with us. You got a six gun? Right here. All right, let's go. Come on. See if you can reach that pelt, Mofty. You want that mangy old thing for? Not for a fur coat, you dunce. Just get it. Down and behave yourself. Now, wait a minute. All right, now. I'll hold it just a second. This ought to muffle the sound. Yeah, now, wrap it around. Carefully, don't blow my hand off. Well, if you don't think I can shoot any better than that, I ought to blow your hand off. Now, watch your head. <laughs> See, that the key over here somewhere. It's on the table there. That's it. Yeah. This is church property. Sorry, Padre, we're looking for something. Stop it. Sure we will. You tell us what's inside the statue. <clears throat> Just won't move. It's got to move. That's what the map said. Stop it. You'll smash it. She's coming. Come on, give it up. Oh. That's it. There's a chest. Get over it. This is a sacrilege. Vandalism. Gold, boys. Pure gold. I knew you'd find a way to cross us. Nice work, Jack. You don't need to worry about what's going to happen anymore. Thanks, Annie. I guess it was a long shot taking him to my uncle's cabin, but it worked out the way I hoped it would. Annie's great at long shots. <laughs>
Valley. Hope to see you on down the trail and come see us again on westernsontheweb.com.